So I'm Zach Ward. I'm a third year doctoral student in the PhD program in health policy concentrating in decision science. And I also work here at the Center for Health Decision Science as a programmer. The basic idea of the paper is we wanted to predict for children now at a certain weight and certain age, what's the probability that they will have obesity at the age of 35. So at the age of 35, there's increased risk of obesity from, uh, for uh, mortality and morbidity. So we want to predict for kids now what their future risk will be. But we had to solve two problems to do that. One problem is we don't have a lot of longitudinal data following the same kids over time. So the average follow-up period for cohort studies in the U.S. is less than 10 years. So we just don't have the data to be able to look at kids now and see what their risk is over a longer period of time. The second problem is even if we do have long-term data, the people who were followed up for decades were kids decades ago. So it's not clear that we can just take uh, probabilities or risks estimated on this old data and use it to predict risks for today's children. To solve the first problem, we developed a method to basically stitch together different segments of observed trajectories of height and weight. So we pooled a data set from five different nationally representative studies that have repeated measures of height and weight over time for the same individuals. So we developed a method that we can stitch together different segments of height and weight that are observed. So you might have an observation for somebody who starts at two years old and goes to seven years old. So what we would do is we would look for another person in the same data set who's the same sex, the same age, uh, same race, ethnicity, and similar height and weight for, uh, for a common period of time, and then use that to project the original trajectory forward. So we do this repeatedly over time, always finding new people to match to, and then we can create a synthetic trajectory for as long as we want, basically over the entire life course. So to make predictions, then we created a virtual population of 1 million children ages 2 to 19, representative of today's children. And we projected them forward until they turned age 35 and looked at what's the probability of obesity. The big so what is we found that over half, 57% of today's children will have obesity at the age of 35.